in good health. There is a change in the air and at the doctor's office, too. Our own Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to show us what's going around and the changes we knew were coming eventually. The shift in the weather is mirroring a shift in illnesses. We're starting to see more of the classic fall viruses in kids and adults. Here's what's going around where you live. In Wayne County, Beaumont, Dearborn, and Trenton report slight increases in flu cases. Doctors of our Shamoon is seeing lots of colds spreading through families and quite a few cases of RSV. Henry Ford pediatricians are treating strep throat and hand, foot, and mouth disease. Over to Oakland County, where the Clarkson Medical Group is seeing flu-like illnesses, strep throat, and lots of colds. Beaumont Dr. Richard Wiremiller in Rochester Hills has seen an explosion in fall allergy symptoms and related asthma. And the CVS Minute Clinics in Milford and Wald Lake say upper respiratory infections are the chief problem there. West to Washtenaw County, where the health department and doctors are reporting scattered cases of confirmed influenza and at least one hospitalization. U of M is also treating sore throats and colds in all ages and in adults, lots of upper respiratory infections and some stomach viruses. Heading to Monroe County, ProMedica Monroe Regional and Dr. Anthony Songo's office say upper respiratory infections and pneumonia top the list this week. Sports-related injuries are also an issue. Finally, in Macomb County, the CVS Minute Clinics report an increase in influenza in adults and cases of adults with pink eye, too. Henry Ford Sterling Heights is treating kids with strep throat and viral upper respiratory infections. Dr. James Larkin at McLaren Macomb reports a big jump in fall allergy symptoms and allergy-related asthma, too. Now, the recent rain and falling leaves can create a lot of mold, so we expect to see mold allergies climbing in the days to come. If you're allergic, be sure to take your medication. Back to you.